In today's video, I will teach you how to change the color of any object or element that appears in your video. Once inside DaVinci Resolve, with the video we want to change the color, we must go to the color module. In this tutorial, I'm going to teach you two ways to change the colors of the video. So you can choose the one that best suits your way of editing. The first way to do it is very simple. We have to open the Color Warper menu by clicking on this icon. We can see a square with colors and inside it a lot of lines and points. We must pay attention to where those points are placed. These points are in the red zone, therefore they will modify the red color. These will modify the purple color and the same for all the colors that appear in the square. It's very simple, right? Another thing that you want to take into account is the height where these points are. The points that are higher and those that are lower. I will explain it in the simplest way possible. In the red color, these points will be the most saturated reds, the reddest reds. Now we're going to change the red color of the car. It's very simple. If I select the two points above and move them, we can see that the points below also move fine. But instead, if I just move this point in the middle, we can see that the two points above do not move anymore. This is wrong. Remember that the points above are the points with the most saturation, and the color of this car is very saturated. If I now move the point in the middle, only the areas change of the car that have a very soft red, the areas with shine or reflections. So that the car is completely blue, we must also move these two points that have remained up here. And we already have our car in blue. But something has happened. Now people are Smurfs. They have turned blue. And why has this happened? By making the color change from red to blue, we have also affected more orange areas such as people's skin. Later, I will show you how to fix this. Now, I will explain another way to change the colors in the Color Warper panel. Maybe it's easier for you. First of all, we must make sure that we have the Qualifier function activated. Then, left-click on the color you want to change. Hold down and move the mouse to the area where the color you want is in the square below. Now, I'm going to quickly show you the other way to change the colors using the curves. Click on this icon to open the Curves menu. Then click on the Hue vs. Hue icon. Perfect. Here we have the other way to change the colors. You can select the colors by clicking on these circles below. Now we can change the green, yellow, red. If I move the point we have in the red, we can change the red color for another color. That simple. You already know all the ways to change the colors in DaVinci Resolve. Choose the one you like the most. Now I'm going to teach you to solve the problem of the Smurf people. Let's go. Okay, in this example, I have changed the car to green, and now the people are also green. If you have the DaVinci Resolve Studio version, we can fix this in a very simple way. We go to the Magic Mask panel. Now with the Qualifier tool, we simply do left click. Hold down and we draw this blue line over the car. In this way, we will have created a mask of the car. I recommend you change the option from faster to better quality. The final mask will be much better. I don't know if you've noticed, we have the green car but the people are no longer green. Now, the change of the color that we have applied previously only affects the mask of the car. Now you will be able to modify the color of the car without worrying about affecting other areas of the video. Now I'm going to teach you to do the same thing in the free version of DaVinci Resolve. In the free version, the process of making the masks is not automatic. We must create the mask manually. For this, we click on the power window icon and select the mask with the icon of a pen. Very well. Now I recommend you to zoom in on it in the viewfinder and then we left click. And we are creating these points following the shape of the car. It doesn't have to be perfect, but make sure to cover all the green parts of the car. To finish the mask, join the last point with the first one that you've created. Great! You already have the mask of the car finished and the people are no longer green. If we change to another frame of the video, we see that the mask does not follow the movement of the car. 
Always remember to track the movement. To do the tracking, we must go to this menu here. Now simply click on the Trace Forwards and Backwards icon. And DaVinci Resolve will take care of tracking the movement automatically. And that's all for today. See you in the next video.